On November 7, 2021, character actor and former child star Dean Stockwell passed away of natural causes. Dean had retired from acting several years previously after suffering a stroke. Dean started out acting when he was just a kid and saw numerous ups and downs over the course of his immense career. He was said to have died peacefully in his home. Join Facts Verse as we pay our respects to Dean Stockwell, former child actor and Quantum Leap star. Though character actor Dean Stockwell is perhaps best known today for his work in such hit science fiction television shows as Quantum Leap and Battlestar Galactica, those memorable roles didn't come until many decades into a densely layered career. Dean was pushed into acting by his family and became a notable child star in his youth. He abandoned the industry when he gained independence from his parents, instead choosing to pursue his education. As an adult, he made a return to entertainment, though the roles eventually dried up. Several decades after Dean Stockwell's initial fame, director David Lynch rejuvenated his waning career when he cast him in his adaptation of Frank Herbert's Dune. Following this big role, Dean was seen in several other hit features. His final role in a feature came in 2015, after which time he abandoned acting to focus on his health. The actor was said to have lived his last several years in peace, and his work will be enjoyed for years to come. Dean Stockwell was born in L.A. in 1936. Both of his parents were entertainers, though they never saw much success. His mother had no notable credits to her name, and his father's biggest credit was voicing the character of Prince Charming in Walt Disney's first animated feature, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. In real life, Dean's father was no Prince Charming. Dean resented being pushed into acting and found himself financially supporting his family when he was still a kid. Dean's first appearance in a feature film came when he was nine. That was The Valley of Decision in 1945. Dean made an impression with his innate acting abilities and was subsequently given several more film roles. Those included roles in the movies Home Sweet Homicide and Song of the Thin Man. In 1950, the young star made his biggest splash so far when he appeared alongside Errol Flynn in the film Kim. For most of the 50s, Dean took a break from acting to focus on education. He'd been pushed into the industry by his parents and resented the fact that he was providing for them. When he became old enough to make his own decisions, he decided he didn't want anything to do with the entertainment industry. However, he found himself acting again by the end of the 50s. When Dean Stockwell came back into the industry as an adult, he found success as a dramatic actor. However, what Dean really wanted to do was comedy. It wasn't until decades later the actor finally started receiving some roles that allowed him to flex his comedic chops, but he had to go through some low periods in his career before getting to them. In 1959, Dean found some critical success when he appeared alongside Orson Welles in the film Compulsion. Following this, he made some notable appearances on TV, including in an episode of The Twilight Zone. He got consistent work, but none of his roles made him the big star he wanted to be. In the mid-60s, he lived in a hippie community with rock musician Neil Young. Earlier in the decade, he'd been married to actress Millie Perkins for a couple of years. In the 1980s, Dean decided to leave the entertainment industry for a second time. The actor saw no future in his chosen career and decided it was time to make a change. He married a woman named Joy Merchenko in December of 1981, and the two moved to New Mexico, where Dean made plans to work in real estate. However, Dean once again decided to return to the entertainment industry. The actor then approached David Lynch for a role in his adaptation of Dune. David Lynch had fond memories of Dean from his days as a child performer and subsequently gave him a role in the film. Around the same time, Dean made a successful dramatic turn in the film Paris, Texas. These two roles sparked a renaissance in Dean's career, and he went on to achieve great success throughout the rest of the decade. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse for more. And stick around for more about Dean Stockwell. After appearing in David Lynch's Dune, Dean Stockwell found himself once again a sought-after character actor in the entertainment industry. In addition to reuniting with David Lynch for another memorable turn in the 1986 film Blue Velvet, Dean could be seen in the hit film Married to the Mob. The latter role allowed Dean to deliver a comedic performance on the big screen, which is something he wanted to do for many years. He made the role memorable and received an Academy Award nomination. Though Dean was seeing the most success he'd ever seen in his adult career by the end of the 80s, he surprised everyone by making a move from films to TV. Dennis Hopper, whom Dean had appeared alongside in Blue Velvet, claimed Dean was making a huge mistake when he agreed to take a major role in the science fiction TV series Quantum Leap. 
Dean played the second lead to Scott Bakula, and the show was a major success. Dean perhaps wisely saw there was no future for himself in Hollywood as a leading man and didn't want to keep being relegated to the background of films. Instead, he compromised by taking on a major role in a TV series. While many of his peers thought the move was foolish, it proved successful. Dean Stockwell stayed on for the entirety of Quantum Leap's five-season run and continued acting on TV after the show ended. He received some guest appearances on various programs over the ensuing decade before finding another major role. This was in another science fiction series, though this one was already on to the end of its second season. The series was Battlestar Galactica, and Dean's character became a big hit with fans. Although it was originally only written to be on the series for a few episodes, Dean's character became a recurring one in subsequent seasons. By the end of the series, he was the main antagonist. After Battlestar Galactica came to an end in 2009, Dean was once again relegated to sporadically appearing in guest-starring roles. Some of the shows Dean worked as a guest actor on include NCIS New Orleans and Star Trek Enterprise. In 2015, Dean made what would be his last appearance ever in a feature film, an indie feature called Entertainment. The film received a limited release. Afterwards, Dean retired from acting to focus on his health. He had suffered a stroke and decided it was best to take it easy for his remaining years. Dean was said to have lived the last few years of his life peacefully before dying of natural causes on November 7, 2021. One of the people who paid tribute to Dean on social media was Scott Bakula, who appeared alongside him in Quantum Leap. Scott was heartbroken to learn about Dean's death, as the two were very close. Besides appearing alongside Dean across all five seasons of Quantum Leap, the two also made some other TV appearances together. They grew very close while filming their hit science fiction series and remained great friends up until Dean's death. According to Scott, Dean was an incredibly passionate man whose interests greatly exceeded the realms of acting. Some of the many other things Dean was passionate about included his family, the environment, golf, and fine cigars. He was also a practicing musician, and even kicked around the idea of starting a music career after his first break from acting during his young adulthood. Also, Scott shared that Dean was a very empathetic mentor to other child actors due to the fact that his parents had thrust him into acting at a young age. Whether as an innately talented child star or a prolific character actor, Dean Stockwell will continue to be remembered thanks to the tremendous amount of work he offered audiences. Both on the small screen and big screen, his unique presence will be greatly missed. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you a fan of Dean Stockwell's early work as a child, or did you prefer his later work as a character actor in his adult years? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.